My fondest memory of the Rambo series, back in 2008 when Rambo, Rambo 4 came out, my mom and dad went on a date when I was like 7 or 8 years old and I couldn't go watch that movie in theaters. They went on a date to watch the newest Rambo. And I stayed home and saw a commercial like, that looks awesome! And I got actually got to watch the movie like years later and then I saw that scene with him on that gun whatever. So I grew up with the fourth movie and then when I got older I was like, oh there's three more called First First Blood, First Blood Part 2, Rambo 3, even though Rambo 3 is not the best one. So now we're here to the last one, Sylvester Stallone with no long hair this time. Rambo Last Blood. This is the fifth installment of the Rambo franchise, and I, like I told you in the beginning, I have fondest memories of the Rambo series. I, the first movie, First Blood, the first movie is a drama, if you ask me. It is a really good movie. It's intense, it is well directed, it's even well acted from everyone. First Blood is an actually really good movie. First of all, part two is pure fun, 80s, baby oil, blood, massacre, enjoyable. Rambo 3, really cheesy Rambo. Rambo 4 is a good return for Rambo. And now we're here for Rambo Last Blood. And there's contains no spoilers if this is the last one or not, but I will say this. The basic storyline is Taken meets Home Alone, if you could say that. So pretty much John Rambo, Sylvester Stallone, is living on a ranch, and he, his fr I'm not sure if really is his, um, because he's like, she calls him Uncle John, whatever. I don't really think he's the uncle, because there's a nanny there, and she lives there with him, and that was her granddaughter, so I don't know the family vision. Either way, the girl gets taken, Rambo's pissed, you pissed off Rambo, and now we have our movie. And I'm gonna be honest, the movie was 88 minutes long, it's an hour and 28. The movie flies by, and if you are a Rambo fan, you are going to love this movie. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be one of those critics and just mm, critical the movie, whatever, and talk about the movie. The movie itself is pretty bad. Like I'll be straight up, the movie's pretty bad. But if you're a Rambo fan, you don't care. So let's start off with the Rambo stuff. Uh, the last 20 minutes is what you're there for. That's basically it. The other half of the movie is just bad acting and bad dialogue. This movie was written by Sylvester Stallone and one other guy. And the director of this movie, I looked up his stuff. He's been assistant director for a bunch. This is the only movie I've seen that he's directed. So I'm pretty sure this is his first direct his directed debut. The directing was pretty bad. Not gonna lie, it felt very like just cliche camera work and cliche stuff. So it wasn't anything spectacular. So really he didn't do a bad job. It just wasn't there just there was nothing special about the directing and the dialogue like i said was written by crayon i mean the dialogue is awful in this movie like i mean awful terrible garbage even when there's subtitles it's garbage dialogue dialogue is awful the acting from everyone besides stallone is actually trash everyone everyone's not good the daughter or the little the girl in the movie she has one good moment with Sylvester Stallone. That scene, I was like, that was good acting. Everything else felt very cookie-cutter, easy acting. Like, we're just trying to get to the last 20 minutes of this movie. The first hour is so set up for just for what, for what's coming toward the end, because we all know what's coming at the very end of this movie, because the trailer shows it. The one trailer I saw shows the entire last 20 minutes. Now... As a person who likes the Rambo movies, did I enjoy these last 20 minutes? Oh yeah. The last 20 minutes, I mean, it is pure like, here you go, this is what you came for, enjoy these minutes. And that's what you come to see, and that's exactly what you get. You get blood, you get gruesome deaths, you get John Rambo saying, oh no, no, no. So Mr. Stallone, he is not the best actor, but he fits roles that are given to him, especially when he writes writes the role for himself, pretty much. So, overall, the movie's, to be honest, a terrible movie. I'm gonna be honest. The dialogue, the, there's no, barely any character. There's a storyline at the very beginning of this movie. It, I, it, it, it meant nothing. Like, I, I thought they were setting up and setting up, and it never, it never came back. But, like, again, you come for the last 20 minutes, and that's what you get. I'm going to give Rambo Last Blood a C-. minus. That seems very low, but again, I'm being honest. The movie deserves, like, a D- minus or a D. But, Sylvester Stallone, it's great to see him as Rambo again, and I... 
enjoy the last 20 minutes, but again, the movie's not that good. Anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.